What's going on guys? Victor here from Dexter Outdoors. I'm going to show you how to go from this to this right here. A nice pile of tilapia fillets. This is a blue tilapia. It's an invasive species we have here in Florida. They're not native to Florida, but they have some of the whitest, cleanest fillets and a lot of people like them. They have a real mild flavor, very small bloodline, and a lot of people's favorite fish actually. So I'm going to be using a seven inch Dexter uh, flexible knife. I really like this knife because you guys are going to see why when we go over the rib cage. It's nice to have a flexible knife when it comes to the contours of this fish. So start right here, cut into the scales right here by the head, go kind of down, take the tip of your knife, and we're gonna take the tip of our knife and just ride the very edge of this is of this fish along its spine, all the way to the tail. Once we do that, we're gonna take our knife. My knife is resting on the spine now. I'm gonna push down and come up along that spine, making sure it's in contact with the spine at all times. And I do that until I get to the backbone. The backbone is this bone right here. Here the tip of my knife, that's it right there. Now, this fish has a real big rib cage and a nasty set of pin bones. So what you're going to do is take one hand, lift up, and you're going to kind of want to angle your knife up a little bit just to get over that first line of rib cage bones. And once you're over it, then you can, can, can just follow the line of the rib cage all the way down. Just let your knife kind of guide you. We're over the rib cage, other side of the backbone on the tail side now. going down just really get the contours of that fish and that's why I like that flexible knife because that raised rib cage is kind of difficult to get over with a really stiff blade knife now we're just gonna sever that there's one side of your tilapia fillet and as you guys see it really has a pretty pronounced rib cage set our fillet right there flip them over take my knife right here Along the edge of the head meat, once again, going down, flip them around. Now I take the tip of my knife and I ride that spine once again, all the way down to the tail. Okay, knife on the spine, separate the fillet from the spine, all the way down. These are pretty easy fish to clean. They don't have a lot of blood. They're not very dirty or smelly. Um, so yeah, pretty easy to work with. Just get over that rib cage once again on that side. And I could be doing this a lot faster, but I want to show you guys a slow way to do it. That way, if you're struggling at home, you can do it yourself. Bam. Two perfectly even pieces of tilapia. Check that out. You guys see there's nothing left on there. You see that light shining through that skeleton? It's because there's nothing left on there. Now we are not going to eat this whole, so I am going to set that carcass aside. The only thing we got left to do is skin our fish, line your fillet up with the edge of the table, tail end towards you, head end away from you always. Take your knife. When you do this, you're almost flush with the skin, but a slight angle. And you're just going to push away from you. Make sure you don't cut through that skin and scales. And that's it. You guys see, we're going to get rid of this skin. The reason it's a lot of people's favorite fish, especially when it comes to freshwater, is you see that bloodline, it's very minimal. Non-fishy fish have a very small bloodline. Now, there's a set of pin bones we got to remove that run from the head half towards the head, towards the tail half that were right connected to the rib cage. Take your knife on one side of them. Take your knife on the other side. Lift up. Cut. Bam. That's it. That's what your tilapia fillet looks like, all boneless, skinless. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these videos, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.